Okay, a few people in the comment section when I bought that bow, which is pretty high priced, they were saying, you know, I could pay X amount of rent for so many months. It's out of my price range. Um, you have to understand you have a lot of choices. For example, this is beararchery.com. And these would be their flagship bows. These are the bows that they consider to be their newest and greatest and the highest end. So you can see they're, they're running $1,000. But as we go down, and that's, uh, by the way, that's $1,000 with nothing on them. So let's go down. And you'll notice the white-tailed legend, brand new, $500, but it comes with everything. So that comes with the sights, the quiver. I mean, all you'd have to do is buy the arrows. So another 50, 60 bucks. But if you come down, you notice again, 549, everything comes with this bow and you see all this stuff hanging off of it. Another one for 529. Um, you know, this one's 30 inches long. And uh, it's 449. This one here is 429, but it doesn't come with anything and it's sold out right now. It sold out because the price was amazing. You know, but there's one here for $449, $450, and again, it comes with everything. It comes with the sights, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. So, there are deals out there, and I'll move ahead and look. There are deals out there, and Bear is a very well-renowned name when it comes to bows, and uh, very affordable. Again, comes with everything, comes with everything, comes with everything. Um, $449. Um, this one comes with everything, 349 Reviews are not so good. But you'd have to be the judge. You can go into your favorite bow store and, and uh, you know, t take a shot and practice with it and see if it's something you would enjoy. Let me show you something else. Okay, I went to eBay and I did a search for compound bow. And take a look. 40 to 70 pound, 40 to 70 pound bow here's 40 149 to 1 to 200 they're a little lighter compound bow okay this is a bear it's used again right-handed comes with everything 250 dollars uh 21 21 dollar shipping so can you own a compound bow sure you can you just have to buy one it's used and each take a take a beating i mean look at this one it's all red it's got the fancy wheels on it this is a white. It's just newly ri uh, listed, but it's at 285. Once you understand the bow manufacturer's name, Bear Hoyt, um, you know exactly what to search for, and you start to narrow your search results. Okay, there's an older Matthews, and uh, for 225 dollars right now, pre-owned. So you look at that. There's one for 350. So, can anybody own a compound bow? Sure they can. Can you find a deal? Sure you can. You start checking Facebook Marketplace, um, eBay. Uh, you want brand new. You're looking for 500 bucks. I mean, anybody can buy a compound bow, whether you buy a secondhand one or whether you buy a new one. The only thing you're looking at is, um, you know, what, what is the poundage that it can be set at? If it's set at 70 and you can't move it, you're probably never going to be able to pull that back. But if it has a variance between 45 and 70, and if you're a woman, I would really consider looking at one that can at least dial down to 45. And uh, if you're a man, at least 50. Because that's probably going to be a tolerance when you first start. And uh, then you can go from there. Now, any bow you buy off eBay or any place, you can take it into a bow shop and you can say, look, I don't know nothing about this. I bought it and I'm slowly getting the feel of this. Can you help me out? They'll take the bow in the back, they'll measure you, they'll set you up, everything. And they'll readjust the bow. Now, they may have to order some parts because the bow is a little bit older and you may have to leave it there for a week. But when it's all done and said, you will have an affordable bow. And like I said, they are all over the place from eBay to everything. I wouldn't buy something like this. I mean, these are kind of kind of lame when you see them coming with targets and everything. You know, it's a low quality. You know, this is like... Uh, Right-handed compound bow, look at $100. Understand, this will take small game. It will kill squirrels, rabbits, deer, you name it, it'll take it. You know, here's one here, right-handed, uh, 15 to 70 pounds. So that's got quite adjustment. 
Its draw length is 19 to 30. That is pretty amazing. Now what they mean by draw length is when you pull the string back to the corner of your mouth. And everybody's length is uh, different. If you actually extend your arms and you do, you, you, uh, you do searches on YouTube, you extend your arms out, you measure the back from longest finger to longest finger, and then take that number and divide it by 2.5, you'll get your draw length is what you'll get. And people that are tall normally have a long, long draw length. People that are short have a shorter draw length. And people that are tall actually have an advantage because it actually makes that arrow fly a little bit better than somebody with shorter arms like myself. You know, but there's one there, 175 bucks. It's got nothing on it. You'd have to buy the quiver and everything. But, you know, it's a start for somebody. You know, there's a Matthews. Uh, mine's a Matthews, but mine's the latest and greatest, and that's why it's so much money. You know, right now it's got a bid of $250. There's no reason why you cannot own, you know, a compound bow. Here's one here. Um, it's looking for a first bid. Um, buy it now for $220. do not mess around. And it's a complete package. You know, that comes with uh, everything. So let's have a look at that one. And that's a bare bow. It comes with the sights. Strings are all set up. What else we got? Oh, it even comes with the bow case. It's got the whiskers to hold the arrow. Yeah, everything's got the peep sight. You know. So there you go. I could have one for $220 right there. And I'll come down. And what do we got? So this has got a draw weight between 60 and 70 pounds. You better make, and it's for men. I wouldn't suggest a woman buying that. That's important to look at that. What's the draw weight of that? Okay, most guys can pull 60. It has a draw length of 26 to 30. And now if you, some guys pull 32 inches. And if that's your case, like I just told you how to measure, then you can't buy that bow. But if you're between 26 and 30, you can buy that bow and, ha and have it adjusted and have it set at 60 pounds and then have it set up for you. You know. 70 pound limbs are currently set to 60, uh, 60 pounds. Um, with some bows, the limbs determine the poundage. Sometimes you can buy a bow and then you can buy, you know, 50 pound limbs and connect the 50 pound limbs to it. Is what it is. It says here a three arrow quiver so you can carry three arrows on your bow. Some guys carry three, five, six. I carry six on mine, I prefer. Trophy Ridge, three pin sight. Trophy Ridge, whiskey biscuit. Stabilizer, I don't like stabilizers. Some people do. Um, string stop, obviously he got a different string. And uh, there's the silencers, his peep sight. Um, string does show signs of wear. So you might want to replace the string. The string on my bow costs $125 to replace. Um, they go anywhere 50 and up. I mean, they're all different. So, can you own a compound bow when some people are saying, well, it's too rich for my blood? Of course you can. It's just a matter of knowing your draw, draw length and what poundage you're going to be able to pull. And if you're unsure about all this, go to a bow shop and ask them what what is my draw length? They'll measure you for free. And what kind of poundage should I look at? And they may let you shoot a couple bows, bows for you to find out. Once you have the information, you'll know um, exactly what type of bow you need. And you're just searching for a compound bow. If that's the way you want to go and if it's a sport you want to look into. Now you have to understand something. Once you have everything on your bow outfitted... I mean, you can choose to upgrade it or you can choose not to. I mean, this stuff lasts forever. I mean, the stuff I put on my new bow, like my quiver, I mean, that could stay on there for the next 10 years. You know, it's all up to you if you want to upgrade certain items on a bow and what you want to do. And, and that, that's the biggest thing. So when somebody says, you know, too rich for my blood or I can't afford a bow or archery is too expensive. Oh, no, not true. You look around, you go used, you can find all kinds of deals out there. Like, look at this one, 200 bucks. 
you can get some pretty good deals on a compound bow out there. And personally, I would suggest you buy a used bow and see if you'd like it. I mean, it's better to spend $100, $200 on a bow and then find out why I really didn't like it and then go sell it and get most of your money back. But if you buy one for a couple hundred bucks and then you find out, boy, I really enjoy this, and you're out in your backyard, you know, doing target shooting every day, um, you're spending a couple hours a day, half an hour a day getting some sunshine and getting out and getting some exercise, and you're still doing it after three months, and it's something you enjoy doing, well, then you might want to look into getting a brand new bear bow that's 500, or you might want to look into something else that is a little bit of quality. Like, I knew when I bought my bow, and yes, it's very high priced, um, I knew I was going to love it, and that's all there is to it. So don't say you can't afford a compound bow. They're all over the place at all different prices. I'll catch you guys on the next one.